Hey, how's it going everyone? This is Dave from wetflyswing.com and today I'm going to tie a Max Canyon. We're using a number 899, size 6, Dairiki. And I'm just going to start this one back like I normally do. And the cool thing about this pattern is this one kind of came from a recent podcast episode I did. Uh, episode number, let's see, 31, wetflyswing.com slash 31. And it was actually an interview I did with my dad. It was a, kind of a cool tribute to, you know, one of my, one of my biggest mentors. I'm just going to cut off a little bit of this, a little clump. And what I'm going to do is take this and flick out the back to get all the little itsy bitsies out like that. That's a little too much. Actually, you need about half that much. I'm going to take off and just take some off the front. I'm just picking it, kind of evening, even it, uh, making it even. <laughs> and um, just like that. Somewhere in there, I like to throw on. I like to kind of feel like I'm doing this kind of almost half and half, I guess, with the white and orange. So you get your white in there. And then you take a little orange. I guess if you want to do this, it might be more of a two-thirds white to one-third orange. That's always kind of been the way we've done these Max Canyon series. Um, so it's not not totally critical. It's more like kind of like fly tying is whatever feels right. And I'm doing the same thing. I'm just kind of picking out a few. I'm definitely doing a little less orange here. Put that on top. Just like that. And... Um, it's going to wrap back. But yeah, so I did this episode with my dad and it was just really cool because it's kind of a tribute, you know, to, for what he, you know, got me into fly fishing and all that. But it was also just cool to hear the stories about the, um, you know, the Max Canyon and the history um, of like the Deschutes steelhead fishing because he was one of the first guys to uh, really fly fish the Deschutes. Um, first guys out there. So what I'm going to take now is a little bit of some uni uh, medium. Let's see, I got some right here. I'm just going to wrap this on here. And what I'm going to do now is do about, it's almost kind of a, a little bit of orange yarn. It's almost about the same thing. You could go one-third orange to two-thirds black, you'll see here. But you'll basically just start by wrapping back here and then just wrap forward and just try to keep it as even as you can I'm just gonna do it about like that and um, I'll get into the black but yeah it was just we you can listen to it if you go to that uh, URL I shared at uh, uh, th episode 31 and he's got some cool stories just about really about family and um, some of his people that influence him over the years and I share this one kind of this cool this one part where I um, actually interviewed um, April Vokey on a recent episode as well and April noted that Roderick Hake Brown was one of her biggest mentors so I went online and just kind of found a photo of him and it was kind of cool because I found this photo and I'm not kidding you it looked a lot like my old man so I shared that photo and you can go to the blog post if you want to see that. Um, and really any of the, the podcast episodes I've done, you can go to um, just wetflyswing.com slash show. That'll have all the, the episodes. But I show, showed a picture. I put a picture of Roderick Cake Brown and a picture of my dad. And it's amazing how similar they look. They're kind of at the similar age. And you can just see, you know, that 80-year-old that kind of fisherman who's been out there his whole life made a life of it sort of thing so just really cool and you could hear my dad's response to um to that so that was kind of cool so you know just a standard we got our standard body um then i'm just going to take a little bit of black hackle anything you have you can use just you know some normal black you can use um schloppen you know whatever you whatever you like to use on on your steelhead patterns and you know, obviously this is kind of a traditional summer steelhead pattern here um, but the orange, you know, obviously the black is amazing. Orange is kind of that secondary color for steelhead. Um, that can be, that can be awesome. But, um, 
So yeah, I'm just gonna wrap this around here. And we also have, I have a few other videos that are out there on some of the steelhead flies. Um, I think the Stewart is out there, which is a similar kind of in this family of flies. It's a little more of a darker pattern. And I'm just gonna pull this back once I get the plaque on here. Just like that. And then what I'm gonna do, this, you know, typically we didn't put um, a flash on it. Typically we just go with the, uh, just go with the standard uh, traditional materials, but you can throw a little bit of flash on if you want. And I'm just gonna clip off a nice, nice clump again. This will be a little bit bigger clump and I'm just gonna, again, flick it out like this to get all the itsy bitsies out. And this I'm really gonna take and try to even this up a little bit. So if you have too much, you can just pull out that to even it up and then it gives you about you know what you need. I'm gonna go a little less. I don't wanna make it too big about in there. When you put this on, you know, I like to go back towards the back. You can make it, you know, again, longer or shorter as you want. Put one wrap on top. Now we got a nice white. And then I'm just gonna grab some orange here. Again, probably cut off a little bit less. You call it one third to two third, one third orange to two third. And the orange is a little bit brighter as well. Um, but I'm gonna start doing this. And if you haven't been um, seeing the podcast lately, I guess right now we're on season two, which is a focus on trout fishing. And that was kind of the, the transition I had with my dad. He was kind of the last steelhead episode so to speak, I'm just kind of trying to keep it up into, um, into seasons. So I'm gonna put that there and then I'm gonna cut this off tight. Get all the little guys off of here. And then once you get that, you can kind of pull back and finish off your head. And, uh, but yeah, if you get a chance, it would be awesome if you can, if you haven't, obviously you're watching this on on YouTube now, but if you haven't seen the uh, the podcast, you should go check it out, especially that episode, which was pretty awesome for me. And uh, we'll just clean this up a little bit here. Yeah, so finish up your head, do your deal here, and then we'll finish your way out of it. Cut it off, and there you go. There's the Max Canyon, invented by my pops back in the 70s on a hot summer day on the river. Um, and you can get a feel for what that thing looks like. Pull some of these around. That's gonna sit just like that. Boom. So there you go, everybody. Thanks for uh, stopping by. If you get a chance, please uh, hit subscribe and click the little bell. That would be awesome. That would get... Uh, that would, uh, I guess, help send some signals to the YouTube universe that um, people are enjoying this and maybe some other people come find some of these old school traditional patterns. Not sure if that's really my thing, but I think it kind of is tying some of these older traditional flies. But, um, and we'll catch you soon. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye.